you know, um, it's hard for a man like me to believe in any religion. Um, I was raised by Christians. Uh, I was adopted. And I was lied to my entire life about my birth mother. Um, I was raised to think, uh, you know, something was wrong with me because I didn't think like the family I was adopted into. And quite naturally, I wouldn't. Um, I was raised, the man who raised me, you know, they, they, they provided for me, but he raised me uh, like Willie Lynch, you know, my parents, my adopted mother, they raised me under the Willie Lynch syndrome. Um, they raised me like, your parents are always right, which is not true. Um, the parent is never wrong. The parent never apologizes. Uh, this mindset will only teach the child that he's always wrong. And these people were, nine times out of ten, they were wrong. Um, these were Christian people. Uh, my entire life, I asked everybody in the family, do you know who my mother is? They knew. They didn't know who she was, but they, they knew about the paperwork. They all lied. Um, but yet, these people went to church every week. Um, in order for me to get the information I needed to know about my birth mother, you know, I had to go to some drastic situations. And so when I kept telling them I wanted to know who my birth mother was, they told me uh, I was being disloyal, and they were my family. But I needed to know my roots, because I have things embedded in me that these people don't have. You know, I like to hand make clothes. I'm, I'm creative. These people are job-oriented people. You know, uh, they like to wake up and do the same thing every day. They are what you call... Uh, traditionalist you know um i used to hand make my mother cards and everybody else would buy her cards she would put theirs on the coffee table and throw mine away um it's just a, a lot of things man that you know i've endured that most people can't understand and i say that to say this that has a big big uh reflection of my my faith, you know, I don't, I don't believe in religion at all. I know I'm not a Christian because, in my opinion, uh, the Christians have been the most violent people ever. Um, Adolf Hitler was a Christian; he killed 11 million people. The Klan, the KKK, is a Christian organization. Uh, they killed over 150, 200 million slaves. They kill the Spanish. They drop bombs on the Japanese. Um, and, you know, the Christians from the European Christians, they, they tried to take over the world. All they did was rape, kill, pillage, steal, rob, or whatever. This has led me to not have a religion. Now, I believe in God. Sometimes I question God. Because if God was really for me, uh, why would he let me go through all of these terrible uh, incidences or acts when I'm not that type of individual? You know, I'm a free thinker. I am a leader. If you look at my clothes, I hand make my own clothes. I don't wear things that other people wear. I don't think like they think. You know, I don't uh, recycle information. Um, I research, I educate myself, I think before I speak, and I respect humans for being human. And that's another reason I'll never be a Christian. Christians, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. They don't respect nobody. They will degrade you in front of everybody. They will shit on your dreams. Um, there's no... There's no I don't even understand religion because the religion is basically a word. They have no way of life. You know, the basic thing about a Christian is 
they will rob you, rape you, and kill you and say, God forgave me. You need to forgive me. I, I don't live my life like that. You know, uh, I believe grown people, if you're grown, even children, no right from wrong. But if you're grown and somebody has to tell you right from wrong, you need to go back to preschool. You know, 99.9% .9 of Christians I know don't have morals. Um, 99, I mean, I just, it's just a lot of religion. What I do, what I do rock with is foreigners, um, like the Jamaicans. They stick together. Um, the Indians, they stick together. Uh, but as far as for my black brothers and sisters, man, you get the worst comments in the world from black folk that you try to help. I hire people. I hire black folks. Um, I feed black folks. I empower, um, empower black folks and inspire them. And what comes back? It's all negativity. I've been sold a dream and sold a lie. The Christianity thing is, is horse shit. Straight up. You know, going to church, the shit is all money. And I, I truly believe black preachers know it's horse shit. But you know, because of my struggle, I was raised by Christians, and they don't have morals. You know what I mean? They they degrade their own family members. They and they are blood family. All they do is talk about each other, hate on each other, and shit on each other, and try to keep up with each other. If this person got a house with a pool, that person need a house with a pool. I'm not into that. I'm into all of us growing. But see, the Willie Lynch syndrome is so embedded in black folks. Everything is a competition. And I tell you this, if you look at that Black Lives Matter campaign, they speaking on everything except for unity. They talking about how to boy, you cannot boycott white folks. They own everything. Where you gonna buy your clothes from? Uh, where you gonna pay your electric bill to? Who are you gonna pay your water bill to? Who are you gonna pay your car note to? Where you gonna work? You're not gonna work in a black neighborhood because black people are not gonna support you. Black people do not support black businesses. <laughs> the only black people who get supported in the black neighborhood are the drug dealer and the landscaper. That's it. Other than that, ain't no black man getting no money. Why would I want to be a part of some bullshit like that? So for that reason, I have no uh, religion. Now, I do have faith in God, but I always wonder, God, where are you? For real, where are you?